Hey guys, today's workout will be focusing on the muscles of the upper body, which includes your chest, back, shoulders, and arms. These muscles are essential for part of your everyday life, for lifting, pushing, moving things around. So let's get going with a strong, strength-building, toning upper body workout. I'm James K with Herbalife Nutrition, and we're here with your cardio kickstart workout. Now, you can use this workout as a warm up or add it to your routine as a cardio burst. We're starting with squatting high knee taps in three, two, show me. One, alternating and go. Two, keep your form upright, drive up high. Three, focus. Three, keep it going good. Five, good form, form, extend all the way. Six, six, get it, seven, turn into it. Good. Nine. Go. Go. Give me ten. Nine. Good. Take a moment and breathe. Excellent. Exercise number two, we're going with speed skaters, keeping a flat back. Lean into it. And three, two, one. It looks like this. One. Two. Three. Deep and drive. Thrusting through. Good, breathe, fill those lungs with air. Now we're gonna focus on our next exercise, which is a front diagonal lunge. Focus on form first. 45 degrees off the hip, going to the heel, driving from the heel. Let's focus left leg first. One. Two, looking forward, following that foot. Back to base, four, good. Driving through. Five, good. Six, excellent. Push. Driving it through. Push. Push. Good. Push. Push. Now breathe. Let's take a moment. Now we're going to be running in place. I want to focus on 30 steps. Breathe it in. Fill that chamber with oxygen. And three, two, one. Let's go. High knees with it. Running through, move that whole body with it. Breathing. Good focus. Okay, great. Let's get some air in our lungs and focus on doing this again. Let's get another round. Focusing first on our squatting high knee taps. In three, two, one, go. And alternate. Drive and go. Good. Really thrust off the ground. Breathe and focus, good. Now our next exercise is going to be our speed skaters. Let's commit, connect, and drive. Flat back. Excellent, take a moment, get your air, focusing next exercise. We're gonna focus on jumping jacks instead of running in place this time. Let's focus on 10 reps and focus in three, two, one, and go. Good. Four, seven, eight. That's it guys, grab some water and I can't wait to see you guys in the next routine. This is an upper body workout that's gonna focus on your chest and back muscles. Let's go. Go ahead and select a set of weights that you feel comfortable doing up to 12 repetitions with. First exercise is a standing row. So feet are in athletic position, slight bend in the knees. We're gonna go ahead and be forward. We're gonna take the elbows out to the side. Just 12 reps on this first time through. Remembering to breathe, keep that core nice and tight. 
Your gaze is down just in front of you. Great job. Now our next exercise, we're gonna take it down to the floor. So go ahead and you lie on the floor, put your feet flat on the floor, get into a nice position, arms are out of the chest. I want you to push through your heels up into your position for a bridge. Hold your bridge so we're working the glutes. And let's give me 12 chest press. Remembering to breathe. Three, two, and one. We're gonna keep down on the floor this time, but you're gonna go into a plank position and we're gonna do what's called renegade rows. We're gonna do one side first and then the other. So get into a plank position, nice high plank. We're just gonna row on one side. Keeping the core tight, give me one more. Knees to the floor, little rest, switch sides. Find your position in high plank and let's go. Last one. Come back up onto your feet, holding onto both weights. You've done your set of 12, now it's time for your set of eight. Find that athletic position. And here we go. Take it down to the floor. Let's go for our bridge position. Feet are flat. Arms are up. Glutes are up. Tighten those glutes. Here we go. Just eight reps. One more, slowly coming up to the seating position. Let's go into that renegade row position. This is great because it really works your core as well. Three, two, one, and switch sides. Great job. Back up onto your feet. This time, we're gonna go for a set of six. So I'm gonna use a heavier set of weights this time through. Position, elbows are going up out to the side. Nice and strong. Take it down to the floor. This time, find your position. If you are using heavier weights, find your position, arms are down. Lift up the hips, and then let's push the arms up for the chest press. Great job. Into that plank position, renegade rows. Just three on each side, using that heavier weight. Keep your core nice and strong. Three, two, and one. Pulling that elbow back. Find your position. Core is tight. Elbow driving back. Two, and one. Great job. Now we're gonna go from the top again, but we're gonna go six, eight, and 12. So grab a hold of both weights. Standing rows, here we go for six. Back down to the floor. Chest press. Find your bridge position. Feet are flat, weights are up. Weights are down, renegade row. Again, just three each side, you can do it. No rest in between. So 
switch sides. Find that plank position first. Three, two, and one. You guys, you can do it. Eight sets of everything. Here we go. One more. You've got this. Let's get down to the floor. Bridge position, work those glutes. Just eight. Now this set of eight for the Renegade Rose, you're gonna feel it, but remember, it's just four on each side. Switch sides. You guys, we have got 12 of everything to go. We can do this. Here we go for 12. This is a set that counts. Feel the muscles working, take it down to the floor. Two more exercises. You can do it, we're halfway there. This last exercise, you're gonna feel this, I'm gonna feel this, but we can do it. Six rows each side, keep your core strong. Last one. Switch sides. Two and one. That was your upper body workout, chest and back. Great job. This is an upper body strength workout. It's all about building muscles today. We're gonna work in a ladder format. We're gonna go 12, eight and six reps and then turn around and do six, eight, and 12. So select a weight that feels right for you. It needs to be challenging. Let's get started with our first exercise, which is a rotating shoulder press. Go ahead and pick your weights up. Your weights are, your palms are facing your body. We're gonna just go up overhead as we rotate the arms, and we're gonna go for 12, starting our count now. Keeping your core nice and strong, slight bend in the knees, really working the shoulders. Great job. Now let's go on to our next one, which is a curl with a flip. We're gonna be working the biceps. So you're gonna curl up, and then you're gonna go ahead, turn the weights over, and come back down. Let's start our count for, for 12. Keeping those elbows in towards the body. Keep them into the sides, isolating the bicep muscles. me one more. Now we're going to take it to a box. If you have a box or a chair, whatever you have at home will do so long as it's a nice sturdy surface. Go ahead, you can put the weight in between your legs, put your hands on the box, walk your feet out and all we're going to do is a tricep dip. So these are weighted tricep dips. Keeping your core tight, you're going to really feel the backs of your arms working hard.
Great job. Now we're gonna go on to our next set, which is where we're gonna do eight of each exercise. So go ahead and pick up your other weight. Find your body position. Take a deep breath. A deep breath is all the rest you're getting today. Weights are facing the body. And then we're just gonna go ahead and press up over the top. Great job. Now onto our curl flip, slight bend in the knees. We're coming up, turn the weights over, down you go. Breathing the whole time. Great job. Onto our triceps dips. Take that weight, place it in between your legs. Walk your feet out. Second set always feels a little bit harder. Great job. Now for our set of six, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna challenge myself by using a slightly heavier weight. If you only have one set of weights, that's fine. Just slow down your movements. We really want your muscles to be working hard. Great job, straight into those bicep flips. Great job. Put your one weight down. Take it back over to your box. Deep breath in. Walk those feet out and give me six good dips. Now this is where it gets hard because we've gone down the ladder. Now it's time to go back up that ladder. You can do it. Starting with six with that heavier weight or your slower pace. Great job. Straight into biceps. Ooh, even I need a deep breath. Take your deep breath. Here we go. Triceps, let's go. This is a strength workout, but you'll feel yourself breathing hard. Great job. Time to pick up those other weights. You know how many we've got. We're going up the ladder, it's time for eight. Biceps, slight bend in the knees. You'll notice early on in this workout, I was chatting up the storm, not anymore. <laughs> Triceps for eight, you can do it. You should really feel those muscles starting to work now. This is our last round, guys. This is where the muscles are built. This is where they're made.
power it out. Oh, my muscles are really working. I know yours are too. Really breathe it out. Last exercise, 12 dips, you can do it. Maintaining your form, even if you need to slow it down a little. Great job, guys. That's your upper body strength done. Remember, you need to have protein after your workout if you want to get those gains.